When every aspect of the human brain is working together in harmony, we are blessed with a symphony of multi-sensory experiences and sensations. We can understand language and communicate extraordinarily complex ideas with each other. We can appreciate the beauty of nature and discover what it feels like to find meaning in our lives. The whole brain, when functioning correctly, is a phenomenal dance coordinating 20 million billion bits of information every second and mapping a three-dimensional projection of the world in a flurry of insight and deeply personal experiences. The human brain is capable of producing anything from a profound, transcendental meditative experience to being triggered into a senseless fit of rage, fear, or depression. But what makes our brains react the way they do? Is there a reliable way to condition your brain for better experiences? At birth, the human brain is a flurry of superfluous connections with almost every part of the brain connected to every other part of the brain. During the first two years of life, the human brain undergoes the first major stage of the lifelong process of synaptic pruning. Synaptic pruning is the process of synapse elimination that occurs in a developing brain that is shedding unnecessary connections. The selection of the pruned connections follow the use it or lose it principle, or neurons that fire together, wire together. This means synapses that are frequently used have strong connections, while the rarely used synapses are eliminated. Pruning is influenced by many environmental factors and is widely thought to represent learning. The developing brain sheds unnecessary connections and empowers the connections that aid in survival and mastery of the environment. In this way, the brain creates a specific and mature circuitry that is primed for handling the complexities of daily human life. The simpler associations formed at childhood are thought to be replaced by more complex structures that are better suited for adulthood. Furthermore, synaptic pruning has also been associated with neural Darwinism. When a herd of bison is hunted, the slowest bison at the back of the herd are the most likely to die. This process of thinning the herd leaves the herd itself faster and more efficient. Likewise, cutting off the weakest, most unused connections leaves the whole brain more efficient. Cutting off the unnecessary connections in the brain is also integral to energy conservation. The adult human brain consumes an enormous amount of energy, about 25% of all calories, even though it only comprises about 2% of total body weight. But that's nothing. During infancy and childhood, the brain has been shown to use between 44% and 87% of total energy consumed in the resting body. This incredible amount of energy allocation is why humans spend almost twice as long in childhood and adolescence than our primate cousins. Known as the expensive tissue hypothesis, researchers have found that when the brain demands lots of energy, body growth slows. But synaptic pruning doesn't stop in adulthood. The human brain continues to shed and strengthen connections throughout your entire life, a process in which we now know we can actively play a part. Researching this phenomenon of continual synaptic pruning in the matured human brain has led to a very exciting field of study, neuroplasticity. Why is this field of study important to you? Because neuroplasticity implies you have the ability to change your brain. Just think, your brain is currently processing an untold amount of data but you are only aware of a tiny meandering fraction of it. Rewiring your brain to process incoming data in new ways is the ultimate key to changing your life for the better. Destroying bad neural connections and strengthening empowering ones is the answer to opening yourself up to new experiences and novel states of consciousness. And how do we do that? By embracing the two game-changing principles of neuroplasticity. Neurons that fire together, wire together. And if you don't use it, you lose it. We all have a say in what thoughts we choose to think and what emotions we give our attention to. A simple change in your beliefs can have a profound impact on how your brain processes data. 
On top of your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, you are constantly writing the blueprints of your neural circuitry through your daily routines and rituals. Just imagine what neural connections you will change if you spend your work commute in a state of gratitude instead of a fit of anger and road rage. There are no known limits to how much we can affect the way our brains are wired up. So become the subject of your own life experiment. Limit time spent endorsing negative thoughts and maximize the volume of positive ones. Develop and explore empowering emotional states and stay aware of how your feelings affect the way you process reality. Challenge your beliefs and replace any limiting concepts with new values that support your growth. Evaluate your daily routines and take actions to eliminate any destructive or distracting behaviors. Start introducing liberating rituals such as meditation into your life. Pursue new experiences. Free yourself from your past attachments and perceptions and use your imagination to access your highest potentials. Maximize the capacity of your five senses and go beyond the limits of your everyday mind. The gift of a living human brain is a present that defies all comprehension. Access the power of neuroplasticity and change your brain to change your life.